Oh, look at how much damage. 100 damage at level 1, guys. So this is Pulse, guys. You just use that. Look at that AoE. So much damage just going. Here is number 3 with the Banish. And oh, they all go up in the air. Here's my ultimate, guys, as I lay down the fire. And look at how much damage that does. Guys, how you doing? It's People Not a Ninja, and guys, we are playing Smite Beta, and we are playing the sexy vixen from Skarhoden, the queen of the Valkyries, Freya. <laughs> so, guys, Freya is so strong. Um, look, her passive is 20% of her magical to physical power. P physical power right now is about 50% of magical power items so it's it's a lot 20 percent of magical to physical that is a lot that's like getting an additional two or three items in game and so i have my skills on auto level right now we have irradiate which does a flat magical damage here plus a percentage of magical damage for five seconds same with pulse here fly magical damage plus a percentage of magical damage and banish can go up to three seconds at max level and of course her ultimate which is a flat magical damage plus a percentage of magical damage up to four hits and guys i will show you um, oh, we have new items too. That is very cool. Um, so I will start off with a Polynomicon just for kicks. Um, usually I will most likely start off with Boots of the Magi. Um, so I, as I said before, I am auto-leveling first. And with Rey, you want to notice two things. One, her cooldown doesn't get shorter. She has a flat 13% cooldown. So she was going to really, really benefit from using and let us just get some oh look at how much damage 100 damage at level one guys tell me that is not too strong and 40 damage 46 damage against these guys she's almost as strong as thor thor hits for about 51 to 60 depending on what items you get so so that is pretty good let me see how much damage pulse does so 30 plus oh look at that a lot of magical damage just going down and that is pretty good and so guys that's our first skill there we have pulse I'm gonna show it again um, so this is pulse guys you just use that look at the AoE so much damage just going down um, it does only the physical 50 damage for one hit but as everything else gets hit by the magical and here's the first skill guys it is irradiate and what it does 100 damage at level 1 look at that that is so beefy that is so powerful and guys here is the third skill this is a banish right here and manticore is going to go up in the air oh no I missed with it so we're going to actually have to wait for that cooldown and that is no problem guys um, but yeah wow she is strong watch this here's a radiate look at how much damage that is doing that is 69 plus 52 that's 120 damage and I'm only level or so if I get a creeping curse with this in game she is gonna be so powerful there's gonna be no escaping her at all and look at me level 5 already that is beefy Ooh, and I'm gonna get hit by that tower and look how look at the range on this skill here and with the slow so I get about five hits with just my basic attacks and guys here is number three with the banish and oh they all go up in the air and here's my ultimate guys as I lay down the fire and look at how much damage that does um, I'm gonna test out exactly how long I can stay up the, in the air for but I'm guessing guys it's gonna be a very 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 long time so I'm gonna test that out very shortly I'm just upgrading my polynomicon and of again this really benefits her as you are stacking magical power into her attack power and so she's gonna get just such a huge bonus just from I just from stacking magical power alone so guys from my initial uh, playthrough um, she doesn't really have any escape so if you're caught out of lane then guys you do die so you just have to be very very careful when that happens and let us throw down some link power AoE look at how big that AoE is that is pretty good we get about five hits at level uh, five or at level one uh, without any attack speed upgrades but she's gonna benefit a lot from and let us see if we can banish them in the air and we're gonna hit manticore look at how much damage that did did you see that that is a ridiculous amount of damage I don't even know how to wow that is just so much damage guys I I don't even know 
and what we do we just lay down the hurt on these minions here and oh I've been targeted by a tower that is no good and so the thing about banish guys is that you can do it um, as they come down as I saw in the trailer video so as they're falling from the sky you can definitely definitely use that to your advantage and there's a manticore right here um, and he is killing me and I do not want to die and let me test out how long this ultimate lasts here we go one two three four and about four seconds guys that is pretty good um, I'm not gonna lie as that is that is a pretty long invulnerability. That is 25, 4 seconds, not 25 seconds, where did I get that number? That is about 4 seconds of invulnerability, guys, and I will definitely take that. Um, and I'm getting so much gold, so much kill. She has so much laning power, so much DPS possible. Um, what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to back out and invest in maybe a rotted Tahuti to test it out or the fatalis even or the boots of the magi okay we'll get boots of the magi get some more mana and just uh just do well so let's look at her recommended tab she does get a gem of isolation as a recommended but gem of isolation is only a 20 percent slow compared to the 30 percent slow that a frost hammer gives you but it does give you 70 magical power so it might just be worth you know getting the magical power 70 20 percent so you get 14 um, oops, I accidentally used the banish there. So 14 magical power, guys. Uh, 14 physical power from the Gem of Isolation. So that might be why they recommend... Why is this Manticore just hugging his tower, man? That is, that is cheating. You can't hug your tower like that. And of course, with the magical lifesteal from the Polynomicon. Um, let's see what we can do. Um, and let's see. Oh, one, two, three, four, five hits. And he is dead. I think I'm going to die right here. But guys, five hits and Manticore is dead at level 10. Can you believe that? That is so strong. Um, I just wanted to run in there and test it out. But guys, that is a ridiculous amount of DPS, um, especially early on. Um, not even Ann Hurt can do that much damage at level 10. So I think she's going to scale back when she hits level 20 as it probably is 100 so about 500 damage and then that's doing just not that much as well so it probably is going to scale back at level 20 but in the early game she's going to be so strong um, so you can use this to your advantage to you know get the upper hand and we're just going to lay down the fire here with the pulses and so again i said my, my attack speed isn't upgraded so i'm going to try to get a fatalis very shortly and see exactly how it works and let's see, there's a manticore here, and I'm invincible, and look how fast that I throw down those fireballs. I did half damage with the ultimate only at level 2, um, so actually she might not scale back too badly as at level 20. I do believe she gets 240 damage on that ultimate, and guys, 240 damage times 4 is 1,000, and that's not even including the magical, um, extra magical damage she gets. She gets about 45% per... Uh, shot so if you add four shots together that is 180 percent of her magical damage and guys that is so much that is so much damage i don't even know what they were thinking when when they were doing that so you have 1000 damage just from her ultimate alone and you have about 500 damage in skills plus slow plus the banish so i don't know we'll, we'll have to see because sometimes these things don't really work out and let us see oh i missed the banish and bam two shots to the face and manticore does go down i'm just going to recall here for some extra mana and to get maybe this fatalis just to test it out just to see if i can get more dps with that extra attack speed and with that cooldown reduction um, so i can see that she's going to really need cooldown reduction as all her skills are going to take so long. Look at this, 13 seconds, 13 seconds. And guys, it does not get shorter as you level it up. It stays at a flat 13 seconds, along with her Banish. Her Banish does get shorter, I think, down to about 15 seconds at level 5. Um, yes, I think that's right. But that is a long cooldown for for anybody. So, and oh, we are getting... we got to kill some of these guys. Um, I'm going to have to back out here as I don't want to don't want to die to the tower um, I don't really have too much range so I can't really oh I do get hit by manticore there is he gonna push he's gonna push and I hope he pushes because then that is a free kill for me as you'll see very shortly oh yes he's gonna push all the way to my tower and guys you know what that means that means I do oh I missed the banish so I'm gonna have to get a little bit better with that 
and you see me using both my skills so he doesn't get a slow when I use both my skills and I don't get the AoE and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down the fire from above and guys he goes down so fast and 83 damage now and look at my attack speed it is a lot faster than before at least I can feel it and I think that's gonna help me with my skills I'm gonna see if it does extra damage to the tower if I use number one so we're doing 44 I trigger my number one and I do so much damage oh no that was just the polynomicon as I was almost gonna say that is just ridiculous that the skill actually affects the tower as no other god in game has that and BAM look at how fast I clear out. that's not the quickest minion clear out that I've seen I mean and here can pretty much one shot everything in the game but guys that is pretty good I'm gonna see if the last level of fatalis is gonna provide me with immense benefits at chasing down Manticore. I think Manticore got a little bit smarter. It's either that or I'm playing melee, so it's a little bit harder. I think that's what it is um, that I am playing melee. I'm gonna get this rotted to Hootie as soon as I can. Um, so Void Stone is gonna be incredibly, incredibly powerful if you're a Freya, and I think I will definitely add that to my arsenal and let us see what we can do here um, so so as they drop you, you see that oh I got about six hits off there one two three four five six seven eight nine oh eight shots with my attack ability with the fatalis guys so my damage output went from just five hits to eight hits with the final level of Fatalis and you guys know that if you have only five seconds to use then guys that is a ridiculous amount two three four five six seven eight and guys look I clear out the entire line that is ridiculous that Fatalis is so strong with Freya as that really gives her a speed boost with her skills and Usually attack speed doesn't really boost into your factor, um, doesn't really factor into your DPS, um, especially with your skills. I mean, no other skills really gets affected so much by, you know, attack speed because your your skills are basically, um, they're, they're just flat damage and you have to wait for the cooldown. The Fatalis does help with the cooldown and she is slowed and... Oh no, Minotaur's attacking me, but guess what guys, I'm gonna lay down the hurt from above and ooh, I didn't miss that though. Can I banish the Minotaur? No, that would have been quite hilarious to see a floating Minotaur. But they smartly said, nope, we're not going to allow people to banish the Minotaur as that would be no good. And so I'm going to build this Rod of Tehudi. And look, I already have 30 attack, 30 physical power. And I'm not even building really magical items so far. So this is very, very, very good build so far. Um, with the Rod of Tehudi, 125 itself is going to uh, attribute to 25 attack power, guys, and 50 attack power. That is like an additional item just from the Rod of Tehudi alone. Um, so, guys, I'm, I'm going to say that she's going to be pretty powerful. She does not have any escapes, but if you do stack with Fatalis, then... Hey, where are you going? Where are you going, Manticore? Uh-oh, uh-oh, Guardian's on me. Guardian's on me. Guardian's on me. All right, we're going to just back out there. But, um, I'm liking her skill set. I'm really, really liking her skill set. And again, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about the attack speed really boosting her skills. Um, I guess it's, it's okay. And where is this Manticore? What is Manticore doing? And it doesn't really take up too much mana, to be honest. And, oh, he is going to go down. And bam, to the face. And he does so much damage. Look at that. 145 per hit. 90 damage per hit. Um, I think it do dish out some damage here against the Mintar. And look at that. 160 per hit. That is ridiculous. Um, and I'm going to activate my Polynomicon very shortly. And... Looks like Minotaur is going to go hit me, but guess what Minotaur, I'm in the air and you can't damage me and I'm invulnerable. So guys, that is the practice match. I'm really excited to see what this girl can do, the Vixen from Skull Harden. Um, so guys, we will see um, in a PvP match. Guys, I hope you enjoy this, but wow, that attack speed really, really, really increases her damage output. So I can see... A lot of attack damage builds, um, uh, not attack damage, attack speed builds going out. Because uh, imagine if you stack Chin's Blades with this. She won't be getting the, the percentage magical bonus, like the 45 extra damage. But if you can hit maybe 4, 5, 6, 8 
times more, then it might actually be worth it to do an attack speed build with Freya. Very, very interesting concept, um, but man, look at her. She is some type of fairy model. What? What is that? She is a fairy? Is that what she is? Look at that. She can fly around with her wings, and that is kind of creepy. She is Tinkerbell as that is what she looks like and how does that how does how do her clothes stay on as she goes throughout the match look at that look it's just a it doesn't even go around the top it's just around the side and she's not wearing much she's wearing that traditional law uh, raw loincloth or the bastet loincloth I, although the loincloth is much more uh, longer than bastets but uh but good for her she's wearing more clothes than the other gods in this game props very good props so guys um i hope you enjoyed this remember to um to like subscribe comment if you enjoyed the content and as always guys peace love and ninja bye bye guys people non ninja signing out bye bye <laughs>